Mashtag Travels is now officially on YouTube. I've packed up my fucking life and I've just moved to fucking Thailand. So come along with me for the fucking journey. What's in that bag? Let's be realistic. There's about eight t-shirts, 10 boxer shorts, 10 pairs of socks, and three pairs of shorts, and that's literally it. I've not really brought that much with me. The rest of it's just camera equipment, laptops, chargers, batteries, bullshit you need to, to be a vlogger. Oh, I'm a vlogger now. I've just been outside, and it's fucking boiling hot. It's only fucking seven o'clock in the morning here, and for me, it's like 12 o'clock at night, so obviously to adapt into this is gonna be a bit of a fucking issue. But yeah, welcome to the fucking daily life of Mashtag Baby. Already got a hotel booked. Bougie ting, the bougiest of the bougiest. 500 quid it cost me for two nights. The first night I booked was last night, so I've already missed one of the nights, so I'm already fucked. And um, so I'm basically paying 500 quid for a one night hotel stay in Bangkok. So I just need to book myself a fucking Uber. They don't have Uber here, they have something called Bolt, but I've already got a SIM card with unlimited 5D data for like the whole month. So I'm blessed, and I've already got the app Bolt, so. Get myself a fucking Uber, we're gonna go straight to the hotel, probably have a quick tug and a sleep, and then we're just gonna go straight out. Ah, I think I'm just gonna get on the beers early doors. First night I'm gonna get on the beers, then the rest of it I'm going serious fucking vlog mode. What, you get me? First night I need to get on the fucking beers for the boys, do you know what I mean? Fucking lady boy. <laughs> and the price of an Uber, if I wanna get a taxi, it could be up to 316, or if I get a motorbike, it's only 225. So let's get a fucking motorbike first taxi <laughs> and I've got this giant bag is this a bad idea yes but all this channel is about is making bad ideas and showing you what would happen if you travel with no experience and you're a complete bell end this is what happens so yeah I've ordered the taxi I've ordered the, the... <laughs> I've checked this out look it's currently 7.54 hey Siri what is the temperature 29 degrees down, you're taking a fucking piss, bro. Hopefully the breeze of the... Oh, I hope it gives me a helmet. <laughs> oh, fuck. I've not even thought of this through ever at all. It says you can be here in one minute. Oh, I'm praying he actually gives me a helmet. I mean, it'll be obviously funnier if he doesn't. And if I crash and die. <laughs> no. <laughs> I actually want to survive at least one day without going to the hospital. He might turn up and say... I mean, he's not going to turn up and say... Oh, you can't fucking have that giant bag on your back because obviously he's going to want me money. Blood, it's hot. So hot. <laughs> it's too hot. Sweating like this at 8 o'clock in the morning just ain't the one. Sorry, brother. Thank you. Yeah, this ain't the one, bro. Honestly, I didn't know it was going to be this hot. And if I knew it was this hot, I wouldn't have come to Thailand. I would have gone somewhere else. I'm not saying I want it to be cold, but fuck me. I'm not going to wear any clothes ever. I'm just going to stink of shit even more than I already do. <laughs> well, I've not thought this through at all. I've just looked on the map. It's an hour's drive. An hour on the back of a moped. That's not really... Fuck this. Should I suck him off? Oh, I feel like I've committed now, do you know what I mean? If I'm going to be a knob, I have to be a knob. It's just so hot. And I can't even find him, bro. That's the main problem. I can't find this guy. It says he's right here. But guess what? He's not here. Yeah, I'm going to suck it off, bro. Fuck that, an hour bro. No, I can't carry this fucking bag on my back for an hour bro, on the back of my motorbike, fuck that. My man! Ah! Hello! Oh, okay. Okay, 137 pillar, yeah? Yeah, that's it bro, you know where you're going. I got faith in you brother. Even if we can't speak, speak to each other. Another hour travelling, just cut to me at the fucking hotel. And I've made it to my fucking hotel, which is this giant tall building. What I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and play dumb to the fact that I actually booked it for last night and tonight. And pretend it was tonight and tomorrow and see if they can hook me up. Good morning. How are you? Lovely to meet you. Uh, I've booked in a room, but I have a bit of a mistake. So I was supposed to, I thought it was today and tomorrow, but I've, when I've looked online, it was last night and tonight. So I've already paid online. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like you don't understand. There you go. Is there no way you can give me the other night? Because obviously I didn't stay here last night, did I? Yeah, but we didn't, we couldn't have felt that. Okay, no problem. That's okay. We tried. It was my fault. Let me take me have a coffee. Yeah. 
top log, you can enjoy the coffee, the tea during the day. 27, we have the swimming pool and the Thailand salon. The swimming pool may be open 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. 28, we have the bar and the spa. Oh, may I explain briefly about Oh, amazing. This is what, <laughs> this is what I'm saying, Dan. Oh, this is more like it. Yeah, man. Okay, yes. Well, this is the best hotel room I've ever stayed in in my whole life. This is fucking absolutely insane. So first things first, this is my bar area, mini bar. The water's complimentary and the coffee's complimentary. They've got even like proper bougie bottles of champagne and that. Fuck it, I'm not even gonna look at the price of that shit. Here we come through into my nothingness area. Oh shit, we've got a fucking hot tub slash giant bath in the room. And obviously if you wanted to watch somebody in the bath. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. This is absolutely bougie, Dan. Can you even hear the little like music playing? All of this is to like control all of the lights. I don't know, study scene. Fuck knows what's going on here, mate. This is all a bit too much for me. <laughs> anyway, and then we've got the temperature fucking down, down, down. Why would I want it to be 22 degrees, mate? And of course, the fucking giant bed which I'm assuming is going to be the comfiest of all time. <laughs> oh my God. It's so fucked because I've not slept for like 22 hours. But the Pisto Residence is... How the fuck do you open this bitch? Oh, outside into the fucking balcony. We've got the bed and we've got the beautiful view of Bangkok, baby. <laughs> Let's get straight into this bit. If you want to follow along for the full journey, Mashtag Brady on YouTube. I'm about to rock the fuck out of this city, motherfucker. <laughs> Hangover 4 coming up, baby. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to have a quick nap because I'm on death's door right now. What I'm going to do today, I don't know. I might just fucking chill in the hotel, to be honest, because it's cost me 500 quid. <laughs> I might go and use every single service on every single floor. Anyway, right. I'll see you when I wake up, bitch. Okay, so my one hour nap oh, turned into fucking six hours, so it's now half past six. The sun is setting over Bangkok, and I've sort of fucked up my whole sleeping pattern and vibe now, so the only thing I can think to do, oh God. I'm running up to the fucking rooftop now so I can show you the actual pool, because time is running out, and um, Obviously, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get pissed tonight and I'm going to end up missing the fucking the, the pool in the morning because this is like the main feature of the hotel. This is the main reason that I booked this hotel. Not because of the fucking room. It's because of this pool. Here it is. Oh. I don't know why I thought there's been no one here. <laughs> I thought I'll come up and have the whole pool to myself. All right, everyone's relaxing. <laughs> this, is what we, this, is what, <laughs> this is what we just paid fucking 500 pounds for a night for. Is it worth it? I'm gonna go in now. If you saw the, uh, if you saw the pitch on the website, compared to this. No, if the, and almost on the website, the, the, this glass just like isn't here. So the infinity pool just looks way better. I'm not saying it's not sick, but <sighs> fucking hell. Wish I'd not rushed up for it. And there it is, that's my hotel. So I'm gonna call that end of the one video. Obviously subscribe. I'm gonna go to Koh Samui today, which I'll make a whole other video. So you might even get two vlogs a day. Do you know what I mean? I just don't wanna make them too long. I wanna make it digestible so I can go, here's fucking five minutes. Do you know what I mean? You can either choose having a talk or you can choose watching the video. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Just a drone above a fucking swimming pool. <laughs> yeah, you can either have a talk or watch the video. Do you know what I mean? Or watch the video and then have a talk or Watch the video and have a talk. Do you know what I mean? I know you like seeing his sexy face. <laughs> Shout out to your mum. Shout out to your dad. Safe.